Hi everyone, Professor Christina Sober from Cal State Long Beach here, and in this video we're going to be visualizing the mean. It's the same example as in the previous video, where the four siblings went to a birthday party that had a piñata, and the amount of candy each sibling was able to pick up is as described. Uh, the plot below shows the number of siblings in the vertical direction who picked up the respective number of candies in the horizontal direction. So, for example, right here where it says five and there's a green box with an X in it, means that there was one sibling who picked up five pieces of candy. That's what that means there. Our question here is how do you calculate what the mean is without doing any actual calculations? How do you figure out what the mean is without actually, you know, adding up all the numbers and dividing by the total number of numbers? Well, as you can tell in this picture, the distribution of the number of pieces of candy per sibling is actually symmetric. If we drew a vertical line down the middle here, we have the highest most peak. There's the same number of siblings below and above that line. So it's almost as if this fewer pieces of candy cancels with this upper pieces of candy to give us the balance point of 20 here in the middle. So that's how mean is thought of as the balance point, and that's how we can visualize the mean. The mean is just the number in the center. Here's the centermost point, as I mentioned at 20. Since if you were to, again, draw that vertical line, and you can see that there's the same number of siblings top and bottom, one over here and one over here, that's how we find the center point. That's why the mean is, in fact, 20 in this example. 